Uh, welcome everyone to FOSDEM 2013. This is our 13th edition of FOSDEM, our 12th edition of uh, FOSDEM. This was a very exciting edition for us. I don't know uh, many people here, uh, I recognize a number of faces, have been here for a couple of years and must recognize our old brain logo. We felt after 13 years FOSDEM has, you know, completed elementary school, it's now entering high school, it's maybe time to do a little rebranding. So we uh, changed our blue brain for magenta gear. We think it looks very pretty um, and I hope everyone likes it too. Um, yeah, first of all, uh, I have a small announcement about the beer event. Um, Richard tells me we had about 15,000 euro of beer consumed and someone lost his credit card, a certain Mr. S. If you think you are a certain Mr. S and you have lost your credit card, you might want to turn up at the info desk and claim it because otherwise we're going to charge another 15,000 euro of beer to it uh, to reward ourselves for uh, a FOSDEM survived again. So, a very short word about our venue. This is the uh, University of Brussels. Uh, we don't own this uh, fine facility. We're only here this weekend. And uh, the uh, ULB has been sponsoring our presence here for the past uh, 13 years, of, well, 12 years, the first edition we were across the road. And we'd again like to thank them for letting us use pretty much all their nice rooms and uh, their infrastructure. We're even using their cables now. So um, I think there's a couple of representatives from ULB around here, uh, possibly even a couple of professors. Could we give them a, an applause and thank them? It would be very helpful. This, this helps our negotiations for FOSDEM 2014. Um, a couple of statistics. Last year when I did the slides, the numbers were all lower except for the keynotes. We have, uh, last year we had a short announcement, but uh, this year we have only three keynotes. We have seven main tracks, uh, which is about the maximum we can, we can handle. Uh, 40 stands, which is more than previous years. We've packed the K building, the new building from last year, we've packed the AW building uh, completely full with stands, there's no more space, we've allocated every last centimeter to stands, uh, there's lots of open source projects represented here, uh, go and visit them and get some nice t-shirts and swag. Uh, we're using 24 rooms in parallel, um, it's, so if you calculate this, we're doing seven main tracks and uh, where was it? For, um, I've lost the number of dev rooms we have. We have many dev rooms, but we're running 24 rooms in parallel and somehow this works out. It's a nightmare to schedule, but it, it continues to work. But in total, we have 290 hours of presentations in two days' time, so that's about 12 days of talks in two days' time. There's no way you can see them all, but that's why we have our nice video team recording many of them, and lots of the dev rooms are also starting to record their own talks. So, uh, practical details. The keynotes, all three of them are in this room, so if you're interested in keynotes, you are in the right place. Um, I will stop talking in a couple of minutes and hand you over to uh, my keynotes. The keynotes are right after me is uh, Kosuki Kawaguchi, who's going to talk about the Jenkins community. He should be here somewhere. Uh, there is also a Jenkins dev room or a testing and automation dev room in the, um, well, it's in the booklet, somewhere uh, the whole weekend and he'll be around to, uh, to chat about this. At lunchtime at noon, uh, we have Amelia Andersdotter who's going to talk a little bit about uh, politics of uh, free software and open source and uh, in particular about the European Parliament and how this all fits together. And then tomorrow afternoon, Leslie Hawthorne uh, is going to uh, close our conference with a talk about community development and, uh, and basically how to run a community, but it's, uh, it's very interesting and very exciting. And she will close the talk, uh, close the conference tomorrow at uh, five. The main tracks are across two buildings because we happen to have two buildings. In the K building, uh, after I stop talking and the keynote starts, the operating system track starts in the K building, which is you exit here, you go across the parking lot. There's no snow this year, um, no risk of tripping, no risk of dying. So you can just walk whichever way makes sense. There's a very nice map on the back of the booklet. In this room, uh, there will be uh, the security track. It starts uh, right after noon. 
and it goes on until 5 this evening in this room. So if you're interested in security, you should just stay here. Tomorrow, then, we have a lot of main tracks. And we discovered that we get lots and lots of submissions. I think we rejected uh, how many hours? We rejected uh, 130 hours of talks in addition to the 290 hours we accepted. So we get all these very nice submissions, but making tracks out of them is hard. So we ended up with a track called Miscellaneous. We have no idea what to name this thing. We have so many talks, it would be helpful if people would all talk about the same things or collude and choose a couple of topics to submit talks about so we don't have to use the word miscellaneous. Uh, but the miscellaneous track, a robotics track, and a web development track are in the K building, again, across the parking lot. And then in here, uh, there are talks about operating systems and beyond. Uh, for instance, uh, running open source software inside your car is in here and should be really interesting. Um, FOSDEM started the concept of developer rooms, I think, in 2005, and now everyone is doing them. Uh, but we just compete with everyone else by having more of them. Uh, we now fill four buildings uh, with, uh, with developer rooms. Um, I'm not going to talk about all of them, but the bigger ones, uh, the embedded uh, Mozilla and virtualization rooms are in the U building uh, again. And all the smaller developer rooms are spread across the K building, the H building, and the AW building, exactly like last year. Um, and then tomorrow, they change again. Um, all this is in the booklets. Um, it's much more interesting and much friendlier on my voice if you read it in a booklet than if I have to read it out for you. Uh, last year, we, well, a couple of years ago, we discovered that our rooms get really, really full. And uh, there are fire regulations, and we try to abide by them. If you see the sign on a, uh, on a dev room, it means that you will have to watch the stream or you'll have to ask your friends inside the room to tell you what was happening inside. We really can't take any more people than the room holds. Uh, if you are really interested in a talk, you should turn up early. Uh, but yeah, we realize it's difficult. We are bound by the laws of physics just like everyone else. Uh, should anything go wrong, if you faint in a room or if you find a patch of ice to slip on, please don't. Uh, we have a, a Red Cross first aid team roaming around. Uh, you should, if you see any sort of emergencies, you should talk to our yellow t-shirted or orange t-shirted volunteers and staff, and they will leap out and uh, find the Red Cross team member to come to your aid. And uh, they will put you in the cloakroom, which is where I'm going to take a nap after this talk. Right. The conference booklets, uh, a thousand hours of work uh, lists everything you need to know about FOSDEM in a friendly, low-power format. Uh, we have thousands of these. You should find them at the info desk in the H building or in the K building. Uh, everything about the talks is here. All the schedules are here. Uh, as far as I know, there are no errors other than printing errors. But uh, again, if there is a problem, the website will always be more up-to-date than the booklet. Obviously, we don't print them on site. Um, food, munch munch. Uh, we have the usual catering assortment between the U building and the H building on the uh, parking lot out there. We now also have a completely vegetarian option called Just Like Your Mom. Uh, I haven't tried them, but I look forward to, uh, to testing them out. Uh, they're out there, they're new, uh, they provide very tasty and, uh, and healthy foods. Uh, you should definitely visit them. Much more importantly, uh, caffeine. Last year we had um, espresso in the second bar. It's been pointed out to me that we now also have an espresso machine up there. So if uh, you feel the need to caffeinate, you should wander up to one of these espresso machines and uh, get some espresso. I think uh, the Cercle Informatique of ULB is also selling Club Mate, uh, which is even more caffeinated than the espresso. So if you're feeling uh, really, really down, you should go and get some uh, of that stuff. But uh, yeah, while I'm on this slide, we try to be a little bit green at FOSDEM. And especially in the K building, there are bins which are only for plastic bottles and glass bottles. We found last year a lot of people put glass bottles inside the bins. Please don't put the glass bottles inside the bin. Put the glass bottles next to the bin. Uh, staff and volunteers will roam around, collect the glass bottles, and put them away. Uh, if we put glass bottles inside the bins, we get shouted at, and it's not much fun. Um, is anyone using the network? Is anyone listening to me, or is everyone using a network? Okay, no one's listening to me. That means the network is working. 
Um, this year we have uh, Colts sponsoring our uplink to the world outside. We uh, had a long-standing relationship with uh, Belnet in previous years, but uh, this year we do it ourselves. We run our own network completely with the help of our friendly network team. Uh, the ESSID is FOSDEM as usual, and we do IPv6. Uh, if you still need legacy IP, we still have a couple of legacy IP addresses. Uh, maybe next year we'll just do NAT. So if you're not using IPv6 yet, now is the time to make sure it works, test it out, uh, use bandwidth. Uh, speaking of bandwidth, lots of our bandwidth goes to videos. We stream all the, we record all the uh, main tracks and we stream them live as well. Uh, Flumotion is streaming them for us. But those guys behind you waving, especially the gentleman, the tall gentleman in the hat is uh, the gentleman to talk to about video. He tells me that he never finds enough people. So go and talk to him. You get a nice green t-shirt if you help out with the video team. Uh, they're also on IRC, hash falls down video. Um, if you know anything about cameras, video, audio, go and chat with them and help them out. Last but not least, uh, before I leave you in the capable hands of people much more interesting than I, I would like to thank our dear sponsors. Uh, FOSDEM is a large conference, and these buildings and all this stuff, it doesn't turn up for free out of the thin air. These are the people who actually pay for it. Uh, O'Reilly is our oldest uh, sponsor. They, uh, they've been sponsoring since the first year. Uh, Josette is out there in the H building selling her books. Go and say hello, get some books. Colt, as I mentioned, is uh, sponsoring our internet uplink. Uh, they are not only sponsoring our internet uplink, they are sponsoring people to come and make it work for us, which is really great stuff. They were out here last night somehow making this link work. Um, HP sell computers, lots of them, sell IT services. They're a big company. Martin is here somewhere. Um, they have been sponsoring us for many years as well. We are very grateful. Uh, this year, our cornerstone sponsor is Red Hat. They turned up out of the blue saying, can we give you some money and can we sponsor the beer event too? So last year, they, uh, last year, last night, uh, time flies when you're having fun, uh, they sponsored a significant amount of the uh, free beer. I hope everyone got to enjoy some of it. Uh, Red Hat, Leslie is out here. Red Hat has uh, flyers. They have lots of gadgets, I think. Um, great fun. Thank you very much. Another new sponsor this year is uh, Oracle. Uh, they do databases, and they have uh, something to do with MySQL. I think they have a little event in the MySQL dev room later this weekend. Uh, Cisco is doing our network. Uh, our network equipment, we don't buy it. Uh, Cisco turns up with big flight cases of stuff, and we borrow it, and we give it back to them and in the same working condition. Thank you very much for letting us use this stuff. We couldn't do it without you. Uh, Google is a small search engine company uh, based in California. You might have heard of them. Uh, they are also well represented here. Uh, they asked us to point out that they are, as usual, hiring. So if you are interested in working for a small search engine company uh, in any of their various locations around the world, you should find someone. I guess they're wearing Google t-shirts or are otherwise recognizable. And finally, last but not least, the Linux Professional Institute is for, I think, the 10th or the 11th time offering their exams at a significant discount at FOSDEM. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any chance for last minute registrations. The last email I got was that there's a hundred and something people registered. But if you're still interested and you haven't registered, you should walk up to the exam room and uh, register. And then I don't think I have anything more to say, uh, but Tias uh, has something to say. So I will hand you over to him. His voice is not gone yet. Hello. Oh. Right. So uh, we have this little tradition here at Fosdem. It's, uh, it's called the Fosdem Dance. Yes. <laughs> so, OK. <laughs> I, I was going to ask who already heard of it and whether, whether they could raise their hand, heard, seen, or done. Yeah. OK. So uh, it's actually, it's not. It's a bit silly, right? It's just you, you stand on one foot and then you go like, and there's a whole story behind it. But people have been telling me like, you know, you call it the Fosdem dance, but it's not really a dance. So I was thinking maybe we should turn it into a dance. Is that a good idea? Okay. 
The only thing is that we're all geeks and we just organize a conference and develop software. Not, we're not really dancers, right? So um, I was thinking of just starting with a simple move and then maybe uh, if it's good enough, next year we can add a few more and then it can grow and grow. And... No, we'll see. Okay, so uh, I'm going to ask some other staff people on the stage. Well, actually what we're going to do is we're going to just invent something, try it, and then everybody can join us and we can all do it together and that will be the opening of FOSM 2013. <laughs> all right? So, yes, so we're all uh, pretty embarrassed to be here on the stage doing this. Uh, and we all suck, but that's okay. So I was thinking the most simple thing is left step, clap, right step, clap, and then the FOSM dance. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Okay. Remember, you can laugh with us now, but when we're done, everybody's joining us and we're doing it all together, right? Okay, first a demo. So, left. Okay, I'm going to put the maker down, otherwise it's going to... Oh, um, music. You guys can do the music. So give me, give me like a little slow... Slow like... Okay, it, I, it's already speeding up. It's already speeding up. Wait, wait. Slower. It has to be... Okay. I'm gonna just start with this. Huh? The demo. <laughs> so now, please join us, everybody. Please come on the stage. It should be crowded with people here. Nobody should be left standing still. So we're gonna go in and just take you guys all out. So please come forward. Yeah. Come forward, all of you. Yeah, come forward. Forward, come on, be false them, be active. Be part of the community, share! Yes. Come forward, come, come, come! Also here, on the right side, don't be ashamed, just stand up. In the back, just come forward. Lots of people standing there, just join us. Come forward. Just join us, not enough people yet. It has to be full, otherwise we don't do it. Please join us. Come forward, please, thanks. Also in the back. All right. Let's do this. So, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to start with just clapping and step, clap, step, clap, and then we're going to count down and just do it. All right. Can you please join us? It's too fast. That's too fast. All right. Let's start with a slow clap. Thank you all, you've been great! Woo!